only here. Wood thieves stripping the frames out of vacant homes. Yeah, that's right. 60W ABG's Ross Adams talked to one woman who caught the crooks in the act. Ross. That's right, Megan. These crooks were pretty bold, stealing wood in broad daylight, and they left behind a big mess in one neighborhood. This right here was a dilapidated house that has been stripped. A big pile of debris is all that's left of this vacant house on Davis Street. Gladys Stewart says she caught thieves on camera on her block stripping out valuable wooden floor beams from the frame of this house. She even shot cell phone video of a man in a hard hat pulling a beam out of one of the windows. A beam that supports the house. The missing wood left the old house to crumble to the ground. I came home on January 30th. And one of the walls had fallen onto uh, my fence and real close to my house. Now that collapsed house is practically in Stewart's backyard. You know, it makes my property value go down. And the sad part about it is I want to stay in Jackson. I've been here all my life. But things like this, it makes you want to leave. Stewart says the crooks are now targeting this house across the street from hers. You can see one wall has been completely ripped off the structure. And Stewart says this is what the bad guys are looking for. Thick wood beams like this one that can sell for a pretty penny. It's going to cost more than new lumber, but it's a lot higher quality uh, than new lumber. Salvage business owners like Jim Kopernak say stolen wood is a problem for them, too. Kopernak owns Old House Depot. Ask a lot of questions. Uh, we get to know the people that bring us wood. He told us he's already on alert for crooks who try to sell him stolen wood. If I have the slightest reason to think it's stolen, we will have nothing to do with it. I mean, obviously, uh, it's not something you can be 100% sure of. I think they should have some kind of ordinance in place where people that come in and strip these houses can be arrested. You know, and people that buy the materials should be arrested. Now, we just got off the phone with Police Chief Lee Vance, who told us he's heard complaints like Ms. Stewart's, and they're doing everything they can to protect vacant houses from thieves. Ryan?